Maar we waren dus transformateur. Ik wilde het probably about 25, 30 years ago. The bottom collars from 100 kVA. The wires only weighed is for 5 amps, 6 amps. The top part I want for 24 volts, I think. Got some bigger terminations. But I'm going to stuck this whole thing down. I want to see if I can make modify this device for a 1000 ampere transformateur. There's the other side, so I'm going to take it apart. I'll make it the bottom winding intact. Apologies I've written on here was uh, these as listed. But, uh, I've used it in some YouTube videos. But okay, this thing has some split pin arrangement for the top part. So I put some vice clamps on here and I need to see if I can get this uh, split pin out. That's one. Oh, that's how to get more clamping. That should come out eventually. There we go. Now release the device and then I should be able to get the top part off. Got the pins now. I got the these square, these square bolts in here, the clamping bolts. There's of course a retainer in here and uh, insulated medium to reduce circulating currents. Oh, it's packed in a bit hard. There you go. So that sits around the metal, so it doesn't sh technically short out these laminations and uh, reduces. Uh, circulating currents in the transformateur. As you can see the, the way the pack is made, you've got a middle limp, you've got uh, different sizes laminations on here. So I'm gonna take this thing apart and I'll put it on fast forward for you guys to watch. You see they're all spaced out, so you've got one of these and then one of the other ones, one of these so they're all interleaved or whatever you call it. Nearly at the end. Yeah. Want some soap? Yes, I'll have some. Yeah, thanks. Can I dish it up or do you have to dish it up? No, no, you can dish it up. 
here. You dish it up. All good. Okay, that's how she looks. Take the wires off, take the plate off, get access to the winding. A good pack of this is Blick Packet, in Dutch we call it Blick Packet. Laminations, transformator core laminations. These are these cool lugs, actually really cool. The wire gets put in a loop in the channel and the washer gets put on top of it and then these end pins get folded over. So it's actually a really good electrical connection. And also the other thing as I say, brass screws, they haven't been touched for 20 years, 30 years probably. They come apart. Again, one of those washers as well. I've got still a box of some of these brand new. I'll take this all off and strip it all down as we go. I was too lazy to get a spanner for this. Uh, actually this works too. Not super tight anyway, but you can use a clamp as a vice clamp to take these off. <laughs> Loosen them already a bit, but they came off all right. That's not for people who haven't thought of that. Couldn't be bothered walking to the workshop. Oh, that's hot. And for these bloody things, got hard fucking things. I may have to go still to get some lubricant for these things. Yeah, that one comes off. Thing. I made this thing around 1990, so yeah, I've got the coal separated out. Spacers in there, plastic sleeve on there. Actually, not too bad. And this last call, copper. This was half a call from a 11 kV. So this. And 500 volts call, five and a half ampere. So I need to work out volts per turn ratio on this thing. I just want to see what happens. Shorter turn, good. Oh, 
This setup is far from efficient, but um, we'll get some smoke and adjust the box. Need to get a better final recall for a couple of extra turns. Still looks good. Still have an open uh, transformator too. Hope you can read it. Might as well turn up there again today. I'm going to burn out. Again, we have a very inefficient transformator because the magnetic flux is not closed. Top. Tienajas device. 